Oh, soaring temps, Brad and Erica, and also a storm threat, too. So we have a little bit of both this weekend, but the heat advisory kicks in at noon tomorrow right through 10 o'clock at night because the feels like temperature will be anywhere between 100 and 105 degrees. Saturday is dry, but Saturday night into Sunday, that's when we could see some active weather, showers and storms moving into the picture. 90 degrees was our high today. No lake breeze today, no lakefront cooling whatsoever. Everybody is in the 80s and 90s for afternoon highs because of those winds coming out of the south and southwest. So we have this blocking ridge of high pressure in place. Winds are coming around this high and that's what's starting to tap that hot air mass and pull it in. I am also curious about this system in the Dakotas. This wants to race eastward tonight, bringing severe weather from North Dakota through Minnesota and Wisconsin tonight. Some early indications wanted to bring some of that energy close to the Wisconsin state line closer to daybreak. But I am thinking that as we go through the night, we are going to stay dry and all of that storm activity would stay just north over southern Wisconsin. Now look at your weekend, 95 degrees tomorrow. Sunday I'm taking it to 90 because of that storm chance, spiking that heat index too, right in the heat of the afternoon on Saturday into the triple digits. And at 5.15 on Saturday, it's going to feel like 104 in Waukegan. And here's the issue. Going into Saturday night, after the sun goes down, still feeling like 98 degrees. Now, as far as the storm threat goes, Storm Prediction Center does have us under a marginal risk for severe weather, a little higher of a risk in Wisconsin. This is for Saturday night. And then on Sunday, we're going to keep that chance in as showers and storms, I think, are going to arrive pretty late. In fact, as we time that out, it looks like it's going to be more so into the early morning hours on Sunday when we could see some very active weather moving through rounds of rain and storms. Also, the heat and humidity stick around for us. It's looking like torrential downpours and wind damage could be the two issues that we could deal with with the storm hazards with the system this weekend. But just plan for a hot one tomorrow, Brad and Erica, because temperatures are going to soar. All right. Thank you, Mary Kay.